So today we're going to be playing a game that I've had on my library for about two years now. And I've never even installed it. Right up until like maybe 15, 20 minutes ago. And oddly enough, this game released in May of 2013. Which means it just recently turned 10 years old. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Call of Juarez Gunslinger. You know, I've been looking for another sort of Wild West cowboy sort of video game to play. I, I miss Red Dead Redemption. I'm pretty sure that is very obvious. And eventually we'll play it again here. I don't know when, but surprise, you know, it's my favorite game of all time. But I think this comes closest. And it's kind of like a hybrid between Red Dead Redemption and a Call of Duty, if you will. Um, it's got like the theme of Red Dead and then it's got the gameplay, the FPS sort of gameplay of a Call of Duty or something like that. I really just wanted to check it out. And also to my surprise, it was developed by Techland, which, what? Nineteen ten, going way back. Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. I'm Dwight. That's Jack and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawman who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. Interesting. So apparently this game's actually pretty accurate with I wouldn't say pretty accurate, but the characters in this game were actual real life gunslingers. Except for perhaps like the main protagonist. I'm not sure. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, ha ha. No, Steve. The other kind of funny. This is a pretty interesting artistic style. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the Walking Dead's artistic style. Which I believe was also kind of popular during that time. Considering this is from 2013. Ten years ago. Alright, is this the hideout? Still looks pretty good, man. Hello? Got a funny feeling about this. Okay. Return to the hideout. Well. Wait, where's the hideout? How do we run? What? <laughs> uh, anybody want to tell me where I'm supposed to go or? Nope. I'm just gonna keep going this way. 
Oh. You need to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Oh, no way. All right, let's go. Sup, morons. Who's that? Is he with us? Oh. You earn experience by killing enemies. You need it for leveling up and gaining extra abilities. Oh, this is for... Oh. Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Sorry, boys. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. What about the horses? No. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. All right, so, so that's just what I did. Gunning down enemies will fill up your concentration gauge. What? This is just like Dead Eye. Get out of here! No way! <laughs> so I actually read a little bit on this game and as the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. One of the things that I read was that this game was actually pretty challenging. And I can see already how easy we can get clapped by getting shot a couple times here. We're gonna have to be very, very mindful. So, boys. Oh damn! I thought that was an explosive barrel. What about this? There we go. Goddamn right, punks. Oh, that's a pumpkin. I just shot the pumpkin. All right, let me. Oh. I, I I honestly can't believe I've never played this. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. All right, what do we got here? Hold X to take secret. Press X to show nuggets menu. You've just leveled up. Hold back to open up the skills menu. Oh, you have one skill point to spend here now. Select any of the three skill categories and then purchase its leftmost skill. Okay, so we've got gunslinger, dual wielding desperado. Ranger, long distance sharpshooter, and the trapper. I think I'm gonna go for. I think we'll start off with gunslinger here. Oh, wow. So there's a bunch of different. Oh, wow. So the dual wield revolvers. Grab two revolvers and give them hell. When you carry a revolver, hold down Y or use D pad to dual wield. Okay, so. Iron sight slows down time. Take your time when aiming. When you aim along or one-handed weapon, LT, you'll get a fraction of concentration like slow down just enough to aim perfectly. That actually sounds really good. I'm going to go with that, matter of fact. Yeah, we'll go with that. Is that what it is? I think, yeah. Press RB to enter concentration. Oh, dude, that's fucking sweet. Garrett's men were running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Oh, fuck. I gotta say, this game's loud as hell. I'm honestly debating on, like, turning down the, uh, the volume, because it's loud as shit. Whoa! Still, one of them reached the water tower. You can avoid lethal shots only when you sense... Not a bad idea. When your sense of death is fully charged. There. Okay, so avoid the bullet... What?! What the hell? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be out in the open right here. It smells like bad news. Yeah, I think honestly, out of all the upgrades, shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. I'm pretty glad I got the, the the long shot one. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, dude. Oh. 
<laughs> Indeed, darling. Oh but shit. Where was I? Oh yeah. Oh man, my boy's a, a player. Lot of saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few Oh, this is freaking cool, bro. I think this revolver is actually probably better than the one I had. It seems to pack a punch. But you see, if I had the dual wield, what do we got here? Hmm. Well, they're both pretty good. Okay, we'll go with this one. It's gold. I like Man, gold. I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Watch your flank! Alright, through the back door. Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. Uh... No. We'll fight our way through here, then. Cut their numbers Good night, down. suckers! But that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. It was a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. I'm really, really digging this crap right now. This is pretty sick. Hold on, I think that's a different weapon. Still the six shooter. I'll go over here. I'm gonna, let me go up top real quick. Make sure we don't leave anything behind. Yeah, this is a pretty impressive game all in all right now. I mean like I'm trying to take myself back to 2013 and this is pretty impressive indeed Okay, I think we're good Ow, fuck. Hello And like that you I was inside dead, you none the worse for wear Is that Billy the kid I passed dirty Dave deader than a rat in a trap <laughs> <laughs> and upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Boldly. Bro, I love how he narrates it. All right, so show the nuggets. Stinking Springs. Okay, so Pat Garrett was relentless in his pursuit of Billy the Kid and his gang. Garrett and his posse uh, tracked them as a, uh, to a deserted stone farmhouse in Stinking Springs and surrounded the building. Giving Billy Company was a colorful collection of desperados. Among them were Tom Pickett, Billy Wilson, Charlie... Baudre, or Boder, and uh, Dirty Dave. What else we got here? So, Nuggets of Truth. This is what, like, historical, factual documentations or something? The Lincoln County War is often considered one of the most famous examples of range war in the history of the West. Range wars were conflicts over the control of open range, or range land freely used for cattle grazing. A whole lot of nuggets of truth here. I like it. Secret has been found. Can I shoot him? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Look away. So you were friends with Billy the Kid? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. This is some sort of what? Carbine or some shit? Man, this is pretty lit, bro. How have I never played this game? What? Ah, oh, shit. We got some ammo here on the right side. Perfection. All right, let's go ahead and. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like. This is Dead Eye, bro. I'm sorry. This is Dead Eye. I'm trying to think what year Red Dead Redemption That's released. When Charlie got hit. Oh no, Charlie! Fuck! Get to the other side. Charlie! You bastards! I, I, I hate myself right now for never playing this. This is fucking awesome. Now, apparently there's like four installments of Call of Juarez, but I think this is the most popular one. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally looked at, oh. but it was pretty clear, even to Billy. 
that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy Shell. Oh, shit. Get the horses and bring them around back. I'll draw their attention. Uh, okay. Go grab the horses at the stable. You directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I Oh, have to shit. Do but I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. All right, so press RB to breach the door. Oh shit, let's go! Oh man, I love that. This is awesome. would have fled in my fight. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. <laughs> what are you saying, old man? Jack is just joshing with you now. Yeah, you better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please call me Silas, ma'am. What the hell is this? Now, where was <laughs> you? Were for the bar. Right. Look, can you jump and do that slow mo crap? Get the fuck out of here. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Sounds like you boys are yeah. dead. And just when I thought I was killing with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. Wow, man, this is awesome. I'm having a freaking blast. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. Oh, I read shit. that you went toe to toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked on tin star. So there's constant storytelling, which I honestly I love that. Are we about to have a standoff here? Oh crap. Proud, handsome, and ham handed. Pat Garrett. <laughs> you challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. Alright, how do we do this? So, keep your enemy in focus using the right stick. No way. Man, this is nice. Really? Alright, so it says when your opponent reaches four, they're gonna press RT to draw your weapon. Aim with the right stick and then shoot with RT. Oh, right in the Man, fucking dome! In a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reach those damn stables. Oh, get out of here. Now, let's see what really happened. Pat Gary, stepped inside. Where you at, punk? Oh! Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? End? Boy, that was just the beginning. Skills. Okay, so after every mission, you can add skills. Okay. Let me go with the gunslinger. Um. Yeah, so you can hold one for Gunslinger. Perfect. And then the Trapper. Close combat resistance. Okay, perfect. So we've got uh, 62 enemies killed. Accuracy 74. Could have been slightly better. Nuggets of Truth. Two out of three. All right. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. After I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. Billy the Kid. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid.
pretty dramatic uh, storytelling here. I don't know if I believe all this bullshit, to be honest. <laughs> all right, let's see. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Lincoln Jail, 1881, whoa. Ooh. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. And why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Hello? Anybody here heard of Luckily, Dutch and- it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. Arthur Morgan, the real he outlaws shot of the Bell West? and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. Hmm. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. Oh, shit. Nice. Grab My the keys and get out. My first business was finding a firearm. All right, so we got to be sneaky here, perhaps, huh? Oh, interesting. Perhaps not. They might be busy outside. We've got a secret here. Billy the Kid. Uh, so for people that are like really interested in the West and the stories, this, this could be really cool just reading facts about these characters. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean ass shotgun. Oh, dude, we got a shoddy. Oh, it's going down, baby. It's going down. 10 gauge Whitney. Loud as thunder. I like this. Man, I really can cut a man clean and have. I really like this uh, artistic approach. I wonder why they never made another one. I mean, they made four, but... I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. Billy! So I did. Oh, shit. Hold on. Anybody see Billy? Oh, shit! Oh, this has only got one. Hell oh, yeah. Fuck. That scatter gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow oh, a man clear shit. off his feet. Sorry, boys. The kids escaped and raised a huge ruckus. <laughs> oh, this is fucking wicked. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. So you guys are done for. Alright, press on uh, to see the current objective. Use the rooftops Anybody to escape. Nobody sees me. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're gonna jump. Uh, that was the lamest jump, jump I've ever done. Roof to roof like a damn alley cat. Oh shit! Oh! Could. Oh my god! Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. <laughs> Suddenly, I was a fugitive. Wait, where do we go? I don't want to jump down and die. Through here? Carrot's gonna kick our ass! Oh nice! So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. All right, so make your way through the town. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. But? This town doesn't have a moment to play. There's got to be a big butt in the way, right? Stealthy. All right, so where do we go? All right, so it gives you a way, uh, waypoint, which is great. You. Oh shit! Oh, but hell, if they weren't all waiting. Man, get out of here! I'm gonna hold my uh, shotgun for later. Okay, that, that's also another really good improvement. Look at the water reflection. What's up with this ray tracing in 2013? You kidding me? a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. Yet I'm not using it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, so fuck! Lead was whizzing by my head. It was like Boom. everyone Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. Whoa! I I what the fuck? <gasps> Though I never did have a great fondness for those four legged grass. Oh, that was fucking cool. Smelly, sweaty, Shut up! I don't know, the shotgun's only got two shells, man. I'm just playing a dangerous game here. Oh, yeah. Did he die? Or is he still alive?
He's dead, right? Oh, he's still alive. Unbelievable. Put down your weapon. Put what? What? Couldn't hear you. My shotgun might be just a little bit too loud. Okay. Sit to the rest of you punks. Oh, yeah. Oh, it feels good kicking some ass. Cowboy style. All right, where, 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 where am I supposed to go? Oh, take the ladder, of course. Of course, take the ladder. Why wouldn't we take the ladder? Okay, hold up. When in doubt, press back. Oh, yeah. Well, where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? <laughs> Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy said you for it. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. So get I out of here. a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. I think this guy's full of shit. Uh, or unless he's really that much of a badass. I think. I, I think knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Oh God! Oh God! Big boy coming through. Would be dead. No, because they all thought I was Billy. Oh, and I see. All that blame would fall on him. <sighs> Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, Damn. but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. Let me tell you, this game is pretty challenging. I mean, you get shot like three, four times and you're, you're a goner. And that's just a fa- Oh, fuck! See what I'm talking about? I told you. This game don't- This game don't play no shit. Alright, it's time to get the dual-wheeled magnums out. Start raining down on these punks. Hold on. So now these guys are taking more than one shot to die, it seems. Unless you're up close and unless you pull out the shot. Break yourself, fool! Oh god, we're gonna die here. Fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, maybe perhaps I should be using the shotgun a bit more. It seems to be quite effective here. Oh god. We go around the back. What do we got here? Any secrets? Don't let him get away. Hold on, I gotta I gotta go around. Sorry boys. Trying to find my way out of here. Okay, apparently not. Let's just found what I was looking for. Whoa. The stables on the edge of the I guess Billy saved your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my <laughs> shotgun. So oh we stood God. there in the middle of the street. Another face eyeball off. Eyeball to eyeball. Ooh. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. All right, adjust your hand position using the left stick for a faster draw. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you got to focus now on two things. Oh my god, when you hear the heartbeats, you can draw your gun first. But this wouldn't uh this will be noted as a dishonorable act and scored accordingly, really. Oh god! I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. <laughs> I like that. So well, you can choose to be a punk or not. Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. Honorably killed. Had Garrett gunned down Billy three months later. So his escape mm. was all for naught anyway. Alright, so what do we got? Revolver ammo capacity increase. Uh, 
carry even more of these deadly revolver bullets. You receive 100% capacity for every revolver ammo. Longer combos. Hmm, let's see. It's about nuggets of truth. Uh, let's go for an even upgrade here. Close combat resistance. You can uh, can be bulletproof, but you can be more resistant on average. Every fourth enemy bullet shot from a short weapon will bounce off of you. Oh shit! That actually sounds pretty good. All right. So far, so good. I'm enjoying myself. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. Hmm. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Oh, watch out now. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. Mm. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for old man Clanton. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising, being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! Oh, shit. I oh, did my God. best to help those poor bastards. Oh, my God. What the f... Uh... Damn, dude. I mean, this is my favorite type of weapon, just because it's, you know, it's a bit safer than... Oh, God. And it actually packs a pretty Moments punch. later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Zero. All dead. Hello? Yep, all dead. Maybe just one. None. None. Yep. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like a patchy <laughs> Oh, so that's for the combo they were talking about, right? They would appear in great numbers from above and rain oh, down shit. lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they have. Ooh, yeah, so you get bonus points for headshots. They appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on. Were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? <laughs> I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. Oh, I get out of here, dude. Battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. You level. That's See, at the time, baby. I was still pretty green and would often blunder in a regrettable situation. Oh, but yeah. I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. Oh, God. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Damn, I, I nearly but died there. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. No, no. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. This is not good. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Oh shit. Are they gonna capture me or what? Yo. Finally, they managed to corner me. Oh, fuck. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed to be slim. Oh, yeah, we're fucked. What is this crap? Wait, what? Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Oh, my God. 
I kind of gave up back then. I'm like, okay, we're screwed. Part of the story. But... I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. <clears throat> no, sir, I not us. Running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. Where's he going to run to now? Oh, there's a bunch of them still behind us. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. What the fuck? Like mana from heaven, <laughs> I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Really? What is this, bro? This guy's insane. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. And he would know. Get rid of the rem uh, remaining enemies. Okay, here we go. And imagine my surprise oh. when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. Okay, so use the D-pad to select dynamite to press OB to fast throw. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. Come on, punks! It's time to turn the tables. All right, when they come this time way. Time for the prey to become the predator. They're getting fucked. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. <clears throat> time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's, That's right, right, baby. And it did absolutely I was nothing. Done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. <laughs> Sounds like the typical fucking bullshitter story, dude. It's hilarious. Like, I don't believe anything this guy's saying at this point. He's been caught lying like a good five times already. Three missions into the game. Throw that dynamite over there. It seems to be a secret. How do I grab that? It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Can we shoot it. How do I grab that? Hold on. How in the world do I? Hmm. All right, no big deal. No big deal. Another showdown, perhaps? Oh, Frankie. Mean as hell. I yelled out at the top oh. of my lungs. Planton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Fuck! Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. Alright, so maybe we can- I knew I could not let that deter me. Oh boy. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. Alright, we're gonna I have to sneak to here. Man off that gun. But, in order to sneak, we're gonna run. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. do it. We're good. I think I can get him off from here. Oh, get out of here. Shot his ass. No, we can't hit him. I mean, we technically should be able to, but... It's funny because those shots on the screen, how it tears up the screen, it's kind of annoying. Right, as soon as he reloads, we're moving forward a bit here. Ugh. Old man Clint. was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon. But it was just Whoa! Fuck! Oh, get out of here! <gasps> Don't let that some get away Ooh. Ooh. That one hit him clean. That one hit him clean. Run out of dynamite. Okay. I 
thought we picked up explosives. Here we go. Fuck it. Bombs away. <laughs> oh shit. He's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's still alive. He's not gone. This is unbelievable. There we go. Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. God. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. All right. 69% accuracy. I like it. Let's see, what other skills can we do? Ranger. Hmm. Well, let's do that. I wonder if we should just upgrade one particular category and become like a master of one. You know, versus a jack of all trades sort of thing. Hmm. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. So, boys. So, what exactly <laughs> did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first, I need to tell you about the cowboys' new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Earth's coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So you can, you can aim so the dual wheel as well, Earth, which is great. Grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Still not as effective. Probably best if we use this Wyatt one. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride. Hunting those outlaws down. Oh, we need to get some so bullets I here. Up, Shit. That's who they thought I was. Oh, fuck. I think they've got carbine ammo. I'm not sure. Let's see. Sorry, boys. Rifle ammo, yeah. Well, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted anyways. Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red oh. bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. Oh, yeah? And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. Huh. Why don't we just pick one up, right? But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. <laughs> that actually that Ringo worked. Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Oh, come on. Earp wasn't much of a match for him. But Donnie Holiday might have taken it. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody Ooh. knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna get rid of this versus yeah, the shotgun. So. Mm -mm. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Oh, you are new oh, to fuck. that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. To grab the shotgun. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clinton died. Why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because Ike Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. All right, let's see, what do we got here? Now, where was I? Taking down the entire Cowboy gang single-handed. <laughs> yeah, that's Indeed right. I was, Jack. <laughs> Jack doesn't believe shit I'm saying. Man, can we upgrade the power on these uh, handguns? Damn. Oh, I'm getting away with it, all right. Oh, crap. Well, you 
could kind of spam them without any recoil. So I guess just gotta use them differently, like that. Oof. Good. Good, 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 good. What is that? What is that on the ground? Fuck, I'm getting shot. Show him how to die, he said. Oh, that's a... F Man, that's water. I thought it was like something glowing. Take that! Uh, that was... Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. Maybe if I throw it that way. That's damn right. Goddamn right, that's dynamite. They don't call me the dynamite kid for no reason. Yeah, they actually don't call me that. I just... Yeah, this is definitely a pretty challenging game. I mean, it's not like super difficult, but like you... It's kind of like Call of Duty in a way. You have to... You can't just dick around the whole time. Fuck out of here. Ooh. These guys are annoying as shit. Sorry, boys. Ugh. There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. Maybe if I, I had really the shotgun. Was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Let's see. I could have shot them. Does not. Oh! No way! Man. This one, right? Get to the lumber where yard. Was Curly Bill? Did you see Curly him? Bill. I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall mm. and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant <laughs> valley that was truly. Consider your picture painted. What happened next? <laughs> well, finally, the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Like, stop the cap, bro. Just, just what happened? Stop bullshitting us. Oh, man. Another show down here? Or what? Johnny Ringo and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Shot before he takes a shot. Curly Bill. Love the style. Defeat Curly Bill. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Come on, Curly Bill. Oh, are you stuck there, Curly Bill? Let me unstick you real quick. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's different, like, uh, bosses, if you will, huh? Is that Curly Bill over there? That's not him, right? That is him. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Dodge it, dodge it. <gasps> Get over here, Curly Bill. Don't. No. Come on, Curly Bill. <laughs> I think he's done for. I think we got him, boys. He gave me no choice <laughs> but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. Sorry, Curly Bill. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. This is a pretty, pretty fun game. Just gonna put that out there. This has been freaking awesome. Over and take 
Take a bullet. Johnny Ringo. Okay. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. I don't know if I got the speed Doc on Holliday right, but... had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Alright, what do we got here? Let's see. Ranger. What else we got for Ranger here? Fast rifle reload. I honestly feel like that's probably best for the other gun, but I'm gonna go with this. Reload your rifle in the blink of an eye. Inserting the cartridges from the bottom of your rifle can cut down the reload time for a while to 50%. Not half bad. Not half bad at all. I was paid a healthy bounty for Ringo and Curly Bill and realized there was real money to be made. That's why I went after Henry Plummer. Now, wasn't he the sheriff who augmented his income by shaking down miners and robbing gold shipments? That's the one. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He ran that gang of thieving outlaws called the Innocents. So it's true that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Indeed I did, son. Indeed I did. I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plummer rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. All right, off to the mine entrance we go. See where the hell this is. Ooh. Well, it makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. It should make you nervous. My late father pointed out more than once. God made men. <laughs> oh fuck. Samuel Colt made a leap. Oh wow, that's a fast reload. Sheesh. We'll grab some. Oh, can I grab that ammo there? I don't think we, I don't think we're allowed over there. It's like out of the map in a way. The, oh, we'll get the fuck, man. You're a cowboy. You can't be dying like that. He leveled up. Oh, this guy got glitched. Oh, what up, player? <laughs> Double the ranger. All right, so where is? I knew that Ooh. dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Cross. Hmm, should we just follow the cart path? Or the, the train tracks, I mean? Yeah. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Fuck out of here. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves, killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking. Bullshit. I gotta worry about freaking dynamites being thrown at us. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. James worked in the stable. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me here. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's sons. They're dead. Ordinary citizens who live a double life. Oh, these are good. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil these War. These are real good. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a 
That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. I thought I was some kind of hero. How we get here? Let's see, where do we go from here? Um, possibly, possibly around? Oh, wow. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. But once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. Hmm. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Or? It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Let's go, boys. We're gonna go for the. We're gonna go for the good old dome shots here as much as possible, maybe. I don't think there's actually any aim assist here on PC with the controller. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. You be getting Some lost. Of those shafts could be as deep as hell. Right in the dome. Break this crap. That's right. You do slow up, uh, slow down time a little bit. Easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Thanks to the ability we upgraded. So I guess that that helps. Whatever that's worth. Quick reflexes often make up for lack of common sense. Oh my god. Luckily, gosh. I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to Bro. be careful not to blow my. This guy's such full of shit, come. man. Like it's hilarious. There is. With all that gunpowder and dynamite yeah. everywhere, a body has to know what to shoot. All I do. I do. I do. What else gonna happen? Well, hold on. It happened. We Super live and we learn. Hold on. Oh, get out of here. Sorry, bucko. There's actually two of them. Damn. That would have sucked. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. What? One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. <gasps> oh, God. Are we okay? What? what the fuck's you just keep running? I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just a run, oh. but clearly the, the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan. What is happening? Why do I keep dying? Was I supposed to swim off or something? Instead, I spotted a ladder. Oh, God. It's way into the mine from the opposite <laughs> side. All right, it's part of the story. Okay. I don't know what to believe anymore. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. This guy's of making course, me do the mission G twice. I had a problem with heights. That scaffolding scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Because <sighs> even though I had a younger man's reflexes, oh, there's I a needed ladder to right make there. a leap of faith. Oh. I was determined not to give up. <sighs> All right. We're that out. sheriff plumber seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. Let's go, boys. The 10,000 they put on his head would go a long way to help me find old Bob. And I had made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. That's right. But first, I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Ooh. Turn this on. We're gonna I get shot more here. more convenient and more dangerous route. Where are they? They're gonna start shooting at me. I know it. Where are these little punks? Come on, giddy up. Oh, there it is. Oh my. Well, 
we safe? Get the hell out of here. Blummer was a mad dog killer. What the fuck? And the people of Nevada City. Oh my it. god! Man, I'm trying to explore here and see what what what's the best alternative route that I got a damn dynamite thrown at me. Right. Well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. Oh fuck out of here. Oh my god, I just keep dying. This is ridiculous. Alright, here we go. There he is. My little punk. The point was taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. He was hiding behind the cart. How was I supposed to see him? I know, I wasn't. It would have been impossible. Alright, so we're supposed to jump down here, possibly? Yeah, go down here. Yep. I figured as much. Oh no. Look at this dude. Shoot the dynamites off? What an asshole. Hungry plumber. I still can't believe this is a tech land game. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Come on, come on. Did we get him? Wait, they sent cocksucker back in the days too? Shit. Oh fuck. Who's this fucking asshole? There's no way that dude is still alive. I got a lot more dynamite than you. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. So oh, that's how Henry Plummer died. Him and his crew were worth their weight in gold. And now, I was officially a bounty hunter. Mm. You know, I do like how this game does take different approaches to these uh, sorts of like boss fights, if you will. I find that pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. Hmm. Reload rate increased by smashing handle. Let's see. And what is this? Additional zoom in while aiming. Hold your breath. Yeah, I'm going to finish upgrading this. And then, uh... And a legendary... Ooh. It's not just pretty, but an engineering masterpiece and a deadly firearm. Simplified trigger mechanism and long barrel provide for a faster rate of fire and better handling. 30% fire rate, 15% uh, aim speed. Alright. Let's get it. So yeah, I'm just gonna upgrade that and then I'll go to one of the other ones. So, did you finally go after that Bob feller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Hardin. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Hmm. Was Hardin as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast. But John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Oh, shit. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. I dodged death many a time. And that night in Abilene was so different. Okay. I was there with the intention of finding that bastard Bob and collecting the bounty on John Wesley. Uh, I thought the Texas Rangers got hard. Yeah, that's what they want you to believe. Get over here, asshole. 
Well, where's my gold revolver? I need gun we unlocked. It was cold in a witch's tit and a brass bra that oh. night as I fought my way past his loyal compadres. Man, where the fuck is it? Okay. Fuck it. Is it in here? Oh yeah. To the very same saloon we're sitting in today. Look around and imagine this place painted <laughs> in blood. Oh, Harden man. was waiting for me. <laughs> and the sawed-off shotgun. Ooh, nice. Wait, I'm jumping the gun here. Let me back up and give you some background on this some bitch. He deserves that much. Don't you think so, Ben? John Wesley Hardin was a killer. By the end, he confessed to taking the lives of 42 men. Whoa. He was a bona fide folk hero by then, and had amassed a gang of armed miscreants and other assorted thugs. He and his men set up camp outside of town. I was hoping Bob was among them. Where's Bob? They didn't ask why I was there. They knew. Oof. Most of them were wanted as well. <laughs> I figured Harden was here somewhere, but to get to him, I'd have to get past his gun hand. Come on, boys. I had to spill a lot of blood to find out Harden wasn't in that camp. He was carousing in town with his closest friends. Harden's boys apparently didn't want me to reach the bull's head. Ooh. Some were hightailing it into town to inform their jefe of my unwelcomed presence. The ranger's actually really good. I don't know. Damn. Oh my god. Just blew that man's brains off. Take that, biatch. <laughs> oh. Oh God! Stop that son bitch! Stop that son bitch! I don't know. I love the shotguns, but I feel like um, I mean, just two bullets. It's kind of risky. You know what I mean? I wondered if Bob was among them. Another nugget here, perhaps? Yes. Where's Bob? Bob here. Hey, yo, Bob! Yoo-hoo! And I steeled myself for the fight ahead. For as good as I was, deep down I wondered if John Wesley wasn't just a little bit better. He's not, damn it. I tell you, he's not. So we gotta tap back to quicken the reload. We gotta keep that in mind. I keep forgetting. Before uh, I could test see. my metal against Harden, however, I would first need to dispatch his cadre of hired killers. Bro. <laughs> I actually like Most that of feature. these degenerates were beyond redemption, but John Wesley might have been a different story. I didn't learn until later that that night was in fact his birthday celebration. Oh, really? How cute was that? Putting you down. Ooh, right through the barrels. I am the ultimate gunslinger. Yeah, you see you tap X? I gotta keep that in mind. Come on, boys. Over here on the left. Guys. I think I already mentioned that I found Harden in this very saloon. Suffice it to say, nobody there was happy to see me. In fact, I felt a certain hostility. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> I stay back here. Oh shit. Fuck it, we're going in. Oh, that dude tried to knock me out. Oh, 
fuck. I was disappointed that neither Bob nor John Wesley were among the dead. But that was short-lived, as a moment later I was facing down the fastest gun in the West. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Kill at 15 and 40 more breathing. I felt a bolt of adrenaline, or maybe that was fear. He was well known for his oh, tricks, shit. and I knew I'd need my own if I was ever to defeat him. The guy's not even trying, bro. He's got me paranoid. Whoa! What the fuck? No, wait. He didn't hit me then. Let's do this again. Guys, I've done this like a good seven, maybe eight times if I'm being generous. Yeah, it was, that's definitely been more. I don't, I don't know how to dodge this guy's bullets. I don't know why it's not dodging. I'm going to try this again. Maybe a little sooner. Might do the trick. We're in the 90s as far as focus. This is good. Come on, punk. Oh, baby. Ooh. That man was faster than Grease Ooh. Lightning. But being inebriated as he was, he didn't count his shot. <laughs> and now, he was at my mercy. Yeah, exactly. So he didn't die? No, I sent him to prison. <laughs> Years later, after he was free, some restless Avenger took his life. Shot him in the back in a saloon just like this one. Anybody up for That's another such beer? Bullshit. Ben? Gosh. All right, let's go. Thank you, darling. Yeah, some say revenge is a dish best served cold. So whatever happened to that Bob guy you were after? Personally, I'd like to hear some of your other adventures. Like, uh, I don't know, do you ever go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a red man? Oh boy, Gray Wolf. Yes, I did, Ben. I remember once I was after this renegade Apache, Gray Wolf. Strangely enough, revenge was also his primary motivation. <laughs> hmm. Dance with renegades. A bounty was put on Grey Wolf's head, and that's how I came to hunt him in the mountains. Mountains so high, they tickled the nether regions of heaven. A long time ago, mountain far, far away. Grey Wolf was a Chiricahua Apache medicine mm. man who had led a war party in revenge for a massacre against his people. The U.S. Army had attacked his tribe during his daughter's sacred sunrise ceremony, and the slaughter was unspeakable. I understood his anger, as there's nothing more traumatic than seeing those you love die in a cruel and painful death. Hmm. Right from the beginning, I couldn't shake the feeling that Grey Wolf was watching my every move. Is that so? He led a band of young Apache warriors who wanted retribution and were more than willing to die for him. Should we go this way? I don't know. I kind of like what's over here. I like the bridge, the bridge scenery better, to be honest. But this is also spontaneous. We could say that the secret here, I think. No, it's a saddle. Ooh. Oh, ranger! Fuck yeah! I don't know. If is this the same thing? Oh, these look cool. The inlaid six shooter is that better? Wouldn't that be better? Those are the new ones we got. Right? They saw me before I saw them, <laughs> and it crossed my mind that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. But now that the shooting has started, there was no backing down. Oh man! So it looks like the upgrade is not carbine related. Is that's good. Like the reload. It was rugged country. 
Nice. The winter home of the Cherokawas. And that's why they had retreated there. I admit to having some regrets about going after them the way I did. But then again, I got a lot of those. Yeah, I feel bad for these guys. This guy's a bullshitter and an asshole. What a horrible combination. Whoa! What the fuck? Sorry, boys. Maybe next time. Did you find Grey Wolf? Not at that moment, but I did find the entrance to their hideout. Man, this shit's accurate as hell. Woo. Let's go, baby. Okay, we're good here. Let me go ahead and up. crevice that led to a deeper cave. Hold on. If I do this, additional zoom while aiming. Hold your breath and be more precise. You will be able to zoom in even more when aiming steadily and focusing on a single target for a while. Fuck it, let's just do that. Don't tell me you went in there. Yeah, but it's not out of bravery so much as pure angry cussedness. Hmm. How do I hold my breath? Does it tell me how to do that? It says additional, additional zoom, but how? I don't think we're supposed to be here. Uh, oh, here we go. Hit a little path, I see. Oh, man, that's like, you gotta take a while to do that. I mean, I guess it works. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should have done that upgrade. See, oh, back God. then, I had a stubborn streak a mile wide, and I wasn't about to back down. So it was like pitch black in there? Actually, it was pretty well lit as they had torches on the walls. I just want to know why is it that this guy cannot take any fall damage? It's almost concerning. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Maybe not the right place to throw a dynamite, but. You know, I got them. Might as well use them. Woo! And there's some more here. Fuck yeah. Oh, you boys are fucked. That's bad. That's bad news. I could use a shotgun too. I'm gonna punch this guy. Oh. Or stab him, whatever that is. Where'd I get hit from? Man, it's like every mission. Every mission introduces something different, whether it's. Big as hell, Ben. Chirakawa had hit out there during the Indian Wars. Whether it's the enemies, the scenario, or the boss, it, it just keeps the game fresh, you know? I wanna upgrade my concentration next. Wonder if we could do that. The cave was haunted with the ghosts of those murdered by the horse soldiers. The cave was haunted with dead Indian ghosts. Hmm. Ugh. Whoa. To be honest, <laughs> I was more concerned with the live ones than the dead ones. Bro, get out of here. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Whoa, what the? So maybe here we can use this. Oh shit. Okay, took a little bit too long, perhaps. Uh, we're fully loaded? Yes. We got plenty of bullets. It's good. How come you know so much about engines? A few years back I was married to two Mescalero women. At the same time? <laughs> yeah, they were sisters. <laughs> Polygyny is traditional among the Mescalero. Oh so what happened? Oh, I had to get out of there. Those girls never shut up. Both of them nagging at me all the time. Drove me half crazy. <laughs> Haven't seen them since. No, I mean, what happened with Grey Wolf? Oh, well, 
I pursued him into the cave of death. Into the cave of death? I came upon this flooded grotto, and that's when I saw him. He oh came to God. me unarmed and unafraid. His voice echoed in the shadows. And I sensed he meant me no harm. You carry great darkness in your heart. And if you do not <laughs> release it, it will claim your soul. The sound of his voice put some kind of ancient Indian spell on me. Dude, this guy, what the fuck? As his story unfolded in my mind. You will come to this place again. You see how it's different every time? The soul would have no rainbow if the eye had no tears. He said I was a great warrior. A coyote man, unequaled by any other pale-faced warrior, or something like that. The snakes will bite shadows of your past until a venom poisons your heart, and an echo of the song of the dead summons the spirits deep from within the mountains. I didn't quite get what he was saying, but there was definitely snakes. And indeed, his warriors surrounded me and attacked me like hungry wolverine. They couldn't stop me, though, and Grey Wolf wasn't in the mood for idle talk. Yo, my controller is vibrating off the charts right now. What is happening? Is this done on purpose so I miss my shots? What is happening? My controller is going crazy. <laughs> That's the last of them. I swear I couldn't see any way out of this trap. But suddenly one just appeared. What the Kinda fuck? like a miracle. Kind of like a miracle. That's exactly what it was. Why is my controller going crazy, man? I felt like I would be lost in that damn cave forever. I'm, I'm starting to wonder if this is a glitch or something. Finally, I found myself back outside. Look at this little punk. Prisoners overlooking a thundering white water river. To get where I was going required several leaps of faith, but no way in hell I was turning back. Chased the great wolf. I chased after him, <laughs> determined to make him explain the meaning of all that mumbo jumbo. Mumbo jumbo is right. <laughs> Are you making this all up as you go? <laughs> A few details may be fuzzy, brother, but I am relating exactly what happened to me. There were dozens of Apache warriors aiming at me from on high. Dozens? Well, maybe not dozens, but there was a lot of. At least three or four. <laughs> Well, more than that, little lady. Ooh, hold on. This one right here. Ooh, nice. I had a steep climb up creek ahead of me and scrambled up those rocks like a mountain goat. I was determined to locate Grey Wolf and find out exactly what the hell he was trying to tell me. And wouldn't you know it? That crafty son of a bitch let me ride into a trap. Well, son, there had to be at least a hundred Apaches around him. A hundred? God be my witness. Oh, come on. Who are you kidding? Hey, I believe you. Come on, tell us how it ended. All right, but I'm not going to drag this out. Where were we? You were surrounded by a hundred Apache warriors. <laughs> well, I didn't take the time to count them exactly, but there were a lot of them. Oh, God. No! 
and in the end a path appeared before me that I had not seen before. That I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin Whoa. air. Gone like the wind, bullseye. That was a never cool did one. find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. That uh, that was a cool one. I like that one a lot. Alright, so what do we have here at the bottom section? What is this? Fastest gun. Whoa, okay. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm just upgrading one one category at this point. I'm sorry. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Episode 6. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of right? I did my best, sir. We all did. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Dons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Wait, what happened here? Where am I? Shit. I'm gonna go to this gun instead. Story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coffeville just to shut her up. <laughs> Get inside. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Oh shit, we got them all. Very nice. It's funny how this game resembles, um... Resembles Red Dead, but it also resembles, I, I feel like, like a Call of Duty more than Red Dead. Red Dead is just like the setting. No? There's a nugget nearby. <laughs> Sorry, boys. The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity. <laughs> but everybody knows they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Of course. Why do we keep getting First called all, out, man? It was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, but now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunt feared by many a lawbreaker. That was us. <laughs> this man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. They met an adversary that day who had no fear and offered them oh, no Oh, fuck course. off. This man can't even... This guy cannot take any fall damage. What is that? Jeez. Those boys had a reputation as stone cold killers. So the marshals took every precaution. Is there a ladder here? No one, they wouldn't go easy. I'm done with you. How am I supposed the to get? The tried to get the Dolphins to surrender. They'll give up eventually. You just gotta wait for some bitches out. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their <laughs> guns. Maybe I just gotta keep killing them. You went in there alone to confront those criminals. Oh, wow. Should have waited for the ladder. One of the marshals oh. shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. 
He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Up top. I mean, we've got, there's probably a secret here. We gotta go through the back of the bank, maybe. A moment later, he was climbing oh, up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. <laughs> Brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Oh god. How do I get in there? Through here? Here we go, boys. Get ready to rock and roll, assholes. Are you kick? What is this? Got company. Come on, boys. Heroic men like him who did what other men couldn't. Or would to make this country free. Jim Boone, off Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Fuck it, let's let's go for the sawed-off shotgun. Let's try that. Is that Silas Greaves? Ooh. Son of a bitch. Ooh. That's right, baby. Anybody else want a piece of this? The weird punks. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh my god! That's why I don't do shotguns. You know what I'm saying? Look, you see that? Simple pimple. Fuck! Man, you scared the crap out of me. What do we got here? The quick shooter. All right, let's try this one for a little bit. Over there! Oh. Man, I love that actually. Those reflex are. <laughs> There's a nugget somewhere here. There. Wow. It was there all this time. Silas Green. What the hell? Yeah, the other one's stronger. Victorious. Taking down those thieving dolphins. Fuck it. Yeah, this is much better. His name is Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. <laughs> Sorry, oh kid, but god. that just wasn't the way it happened. Oh my god, we're gonna do this shit again. Are you kidding me? It was early evening, not high noon. Oh god. Does it matter? Head to the bank. Stop the dogs before they escape. The safe, and we're all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. <laughs> the complete opposite. Oh, fuck out of here. The leader, the lover, and the loser. Three of them. Ooh. Okay. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. And finally, they did. Sorry, Those boys. stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody Idiots. knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. Oh, right in the nuts. Hey, got us Those friends came after me like a pack of wild Sorry, dogs. boys. Tooth they were coming at me from all directions. Oh, he's on my side. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose it. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. To top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Did the Daltons pull up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wow. wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding forever. Oh, crap. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths. Pissing off the Heimhoffers. What sort of spaghetti and meatball shit is going on in this story? Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. All right, go through the back. There's a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. That's right. Shit happens. <laughs> the Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Oh, that's right. Those Never give up as my middle name, name after all. The drawer, but they always stood together. Oh, they fuck. set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. 
The third brother stayed behind to plan me, just in case oh. that trap of theirs didn't work. I thought I was a goner back there. It was Emmett, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. Oh, really? I ain't afraid of you, Green. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. Damn. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long time. Really? I'm gonna tear you apart. Bro, what is this? I'm gonna plant you where you stand. Get out of here. Gonna send you to the bone orchard. But Emma Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? Us, of course. Who else would it be? But I have to admit, that boy had grit. That was cool. Okay. What else we got here for sharpshooter? Throw, uh... Throw, shoot the dynamite, create a nice firework display. Hmm. More concentration for headshots. Ooh. Man, I keep wanting to go to another category, but these just keep getting more enticing. Bounty Hunter is still my name. We'll get those suckers. It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this. And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll track him to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. No way in hell. That's right. Oh, shit. That's not good. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. Now it starts raining. Foggy <laughs> as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. Red ribbons. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color. Oh god. Red as blood. I actually like that though. It's a very unique way of storytelling. Fog and swamps into orientation the way we're the So the whole area was flooded. So just follow the red ribbons. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Really? Shut your ass up. Mm. Except for some son bitches ahead of me wanting to do me harm. So I had to face him. Gotta alone. take him out, bro. Any son bitch wanna harm me? I Good wondered day. why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. They died probably. Oh. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet. But I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. Boys had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. I'll keep this. Now that I've got the headshot multiplier for the concentration. Oh my god, look how much faster. Sheesh! Point B and I was under serious attack. And my reinforcements was nowhere to wow, be Wow, dude, it's like five or six headshots and you get it back? Whoa. That's incredible. <laughs> a piercing shot. Nice. That was a collateral. I hit the guy and exploded the barrel behind him. 
the absolute savagery. A barn materialized as it right before my eyes. Oh, really? I scrambled up top to get a better view. What is this? But just ended up falling inside. So how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. Uh, well, actually, we killed two of them, and then that we followed the last one. swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Oh, somebody's snoring. Who's, who's falling asleep? So I just started walking. And pretty soon, it... <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> Steve. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, boy, no. Indians? They were Indians? No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. <laughs> now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? <laughs> Dwight's paying attention. No, I, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. All right, now I'm lost, because... So, where was I? The Daltons. Mm. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. Is it this way? Oh shit. Sorry, boys. Not yet. But I did find a few of their cousins. No yeah. Breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. Now look how much faster we get the but hell. What's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what the I'm concentration. Huh. Alright, hold up. Oh fuck. All right, hey, you you asked for it, not me. <laughs> what a dork! Oh man, what are you doing? I'm gonna reload. I was hurt, but now I'm fine. I need to use the concentration. I get some leverage up top. I honestly don't mind the shotgun, but I just, I, I, I really don't care for it. I just feel like these guns are so effective, you don't need it. Like at all. Hunt him down, boys. Shotgunners are there somewhere. Like many Standing bosses. together against anyone who would threaten them. Ooh, it's gotta be this way. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheel? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from our high. And those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't wow. anywhere to be found. 
But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Probably best I. Oh shit. Should be good here, right? I hope this shit doesn't break. Ooh. Got him. Bunch of punks. I'm ending you. Guys, we're still in it. Somewhere up there, the dolphins were waiting on me. Ooh. I'm gonna keep my little gun. I'm happy as hell with this one. So powerful. Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. Yeah, that's I right. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. Yeah, that's right. I'm stubborn as hell. You know me, boys. Ooh. Let me go down the ladder before I take some fall damage and just freaking die. Right, I'm assuming we've got to climb up here. Keep going higher. Yes, sir. It's the name of the game. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. Where is he? <clears throat> it turned out that they had me. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. Apparently, the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted wow. to burn me alive. Damn. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth oh. proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Oh, well, yeah, but I was Did in a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's been in the next year? Large as one in the world? Oh, um, shit. You're well, talking about the Titanic. <laughs> just me, it's really flesh and fish. I don't think that I'm even slow. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh, God. Hmm. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection oh, might be God, a bit Oh, God, let's go! But somehow, I managed to finally... Oh, 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 oh. finally some fucking real shit! Burn out or what? It's getting a little hot. Seems hot. Not even gonna test it. I'm gonna let off the gas a bit when I see it get a little too red. Too red. Maybe it doesn't matter actually. Yeah, that's right. They were in this together. Bunch of punks. Get wrecked. Two brothers side by side determined no. to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. No. I can't, I can't do this. So this one's gonna have to be mainly probably about draw speed considering there's two of them, right? Draw speed is crazy right now. Look at that. Oh man. Oh they got 
got it wrong. A sad end for those two. <laughs> if they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Man. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. Damn it. Hint about enemies behind you, spot enemies even beyond your field of view during concentration. Mm, okay, I think I'm done with this one for now. Here we go. Let's start upgrading this one. Reload while sprinting. Longer combos. There we go. I didn't get any nuggets there. I'm sorry. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. Episode 7, Juarez. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. Oh, this is getting pretty good, actually. Not bad. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Thanks to Wild Bunch. Led by Butch Cassidy. They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. Oh, snap. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming uh, on the what? Overland Flyer. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Oh, God. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Until I get my hands on you, Bob. You some bitch. Some bitch. What is it? Some bitch? Some a bit? Some bitch? <laughs> my ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. Who's well, I that? made my way off unscathed. I came up on a few members of the gang and had no choice but to just Almost got me there, bud. Uh. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious Those route. horses don't even die. <laughs> Good. I don't want to kill horses. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Really? Oh, we're about to jump on the train. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, that was awesome. From the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang. Oh, but God. In order to find Hold on, I need to get my other revolvers. My way forward past or the gold ones. Desperados. I probably have one. Hold on. There we go. Ranger? Yeah, I guess that... It's better than what I had on. Ah, there it is. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Where's the revolver I just had? Hello? There we go. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way We're gonna to break that shit brain. down. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Fuck out of here. Oh, man. I love when he blows on the barrel. That's so cool. Sorry, boys. Actually, I, can I shoot up through here? <laughs> oh, my God. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling. Oh, God. Death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those really? bastards as I could. How the hell do I? I'm gonna shoot you dead. Oh fuck! Oh, who's up top? Oh my! Right, how the hell do we? Get out of here. We gotta climb up top or something. Wait, what? what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Do I gotta jump down? That's, that doesn't seem like the thing to do here. Is there. Oh, shit! Oh my god. Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Oh, whoa. Close call there, partner. Woo! That was that was pretty epic. Alright, so maybe we take the right side now. Actually we take the ladder. Like an I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Mean, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in? Guns a-blazing to help? From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. Sure, dude. Sure. Who the hell is that? Am I even supposed to... Bro, I'm gonna die if I take... Oh, nice. He's killing everybody. Yeah, that's right. I'm killing everybody. Uh, kill us all. Woo. I love that when you pick up a weapon, it automatically duplicates. Thank goodness. <clears throat> you boys done? You done here? My guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened. Oh shit. Did they? Only a few stragglers were left. I had to cut him down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Yeah, this this game's getting pretty intense now. I mean, it's been intense the whole time, to be honest, but... They've been wrapping it up a little bit now. I think we're pretty safe on the left side for the most part. Never mind. Spoke too soon. We're not safe yet. Now they're coming from the left. Damn. Wow, what? What happened? Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. 
But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Tell me he sucks, please. He's moving too much. I'm gonna lose. same day Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamped for South America I thought I was gonna fail that but no they ended up living down there for many years but I'm sure you already know all about that okay so we have here uh Reload while sprinting. Fast revolver reload. Reload your revolvers in the blink of an eye. You will be able to load bullets onto your revolvers. Okay. What else we got here? Alright, I think we're good. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. That Kid Curry's kind of crazy. Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just started taking those bastards That's around. a quick reload. Too bad these revolvers kind of suck. Fuck, that was quick, dude. It's you or me. wasn't even registering old Bob wasn't among them and either was Kid Curry I could sense him close by however plotting something nasty I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts all right let's see how do we a clue here we go and I found one a map with their bold plan clearly marked this time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. The next morning. Uh, okay. Went up top here. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. What the fuck? Well, some say it was only <laughs> five. Okay. Almost fell. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was going to rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. How unfortunate. The bridge was rigged with dynamite. So I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Oh, shoot. It's one of those. All right, we can disarm them. Uh, a moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry. I know <laughs> what I'm doing. All right, that's probably best. But the wild bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. Ooh. 
It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Of course, rightfully Once so. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Yeah, we've got to be very careful. I'm paranoid, bro. We blow this shit up, we're fucked. Where are the other dynamites? Got these barrels as well here. Oops! See, I don't want to blow that up. If I hit, if I hit those barrels, we might be screwed. It might just be if we hit the, the dynamites. Because it'll trigger the explosion of the bridge. Maybe not the barrels, but I don't want to take a chance. Not right now. We've come too far. What the fuck is this? Armored so shotgunner. Uh oh. Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. That's not good. They're improving the enemies here. I don't like it. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Alright, what do we got here? Shot the rope, like so. Anything else? Oh! Yo, calm down, dude. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually, there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. I think that's it. I think that's it, boys. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. All right, so now we can start blowing shit up. Is that it? Is that what you're telling me? Man, I love these revolvers. So slick. There we go. So I proceeded onward. I realized that that Wait. way just wasn't gonna work. Wait. I needed an alternate path forward. Huh? This one? Is it this one? I think so. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that <laughs> concerned me. Yeah, it's this way. Oh. It was a long burning oh. fuse, and uh -oh. it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. This guy's such full of shit, bro. <laughs> Fuse was so damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no. I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. Oh my, my heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Okay, I'm boom. panicking. Of course, I was successful. Oh, clearly, I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Oh, that would have been Naturally, messed up. I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a you know, I feel like, uh, like I don't even have to commentate because I feel like this guy's commentating but by the this entire time, game I for was us. Thoroughly it's hilarious. And dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. How do you take damage like that? It makes no sense. Kill that as Oh man, I messed up. That sucks. I missed. Especially after we upgraded it. Oh god. Man, we had just upgraded that too and we missed. Right, I'm gonna tear that ass. Just 
just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. All right, so what now? Kid Curry, maybe possibly a dynamite in that, in that little area where he's in, in the back of the wagon. Hey, bro, calm the fuck down. This man's hiding behind a cactus. Like, what? <laughs> What's a cactus gonna do? Luckily, I had located some dynamite. And I died. I still, however, located had my work the, cut the, out for we me. We located the dynamite, but we died. It's, it's, it's okay. Hold on. Oh, shit, we're going backwards. Oh, there's dynamite right here. gonna spam the dynamites. Out of here, bro. Eventually, I brought that tunnel Whoa. down. And that's when I met Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Come here. Ooh. Another showdown, eh? You're done, dude. You're done. As fast as he was, I was just a bit faster. I'm sure you were. Sure you were. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Oh, shit. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Oh, shit. <laughs> I could have actually died. Those were his last words. There's always a little thing, you see? Always a little twist to all these, like, final bosses or whatnot. Whatever you want to call them. Okay. What do we got here? Improved agility. Let me see what the other one has, the trapper. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. We could upgrade the other one, to be honest. It's not half bad. We'll do this one. Let's just get on with it. We might finish the game. It's crazy. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Episode eight. I think there's either eight or nine episodes Jesse in total. James, the greatest outlaw who ever lived. Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas, and killed near two hundred people, boy. Oh. Yeah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. I wonder what forty thousand dollars was the equivalent to today's money. Bullets 
were flying at me from every which way. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was gonna find this gym. Oh shit. There's an armored shotgun right there. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Fuck it, man. What you want me to do? Screw the nuggets. I don't care about the nuggets right now. All I care is about kicking some ass. Now, now wait a second. How'd they stop this train in the first place? Well, the James boys were experts at this. Legend was you could stop a train <laughs> by staring at <laughs> was his fucking Chuck Norris. <laughs> they hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So I hopped the same train. Oh shit! Signed our punks. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on the killer I was after, along with a host of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. Whoa, what the hell? Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bucks before I the reached James that. James Younger gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Jesse James. Most celebrated outlaw, he was famous when he was alive, but attained the status of a legend upon his death. Despite enjoying a reputation worthy of Robin Hood, when the facts of history are examined, it's clear he wasn't much more than a thief and a murderer. As a teenager, Jesse and his brother Frank fought his Confederate guerrillas during the Civil War along the infamous William Cantrell and his raiders. Some believe Jesse took part in the massacre of some 200 men and boys in Lawrence, Kansas. Holy smokes. Sounds smoke. like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down the tracks like a bat out of hell? Yeah, oh, dog. Ooh. Yeah, I don't believe shit this guy is saying either, and we're playing out of it. Damn, I didn't. Get that nut. No. I don't like this one, man. Yo. Who the hell shot me? This punk. I'm gonna blow your damn head off. Oh yeah. I don't think so. Anyway, excuse me, Ben. Where would I find the gentleman's facilities? Suddenly, I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snake. Well, I've had more than a few drinks. It's and, disgusting. Uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Green? <laughs> I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. It's funny. I don't know, Jack. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. <laughs> Jack, lay off the boat. But you seriously think that tired old man went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jesse James? <laughs> well, that's better. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I mean, Yo, I what the fuck? the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. I 
some point, some some bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton! It's a damn Pinkerton! Now, I never worked for that limey cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted me dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? They're starting to call his bluff. <laughs> no, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember. Oh my god. What the fuck's going on here? I saw him there at the very end. He smacked me hard. I was right around this corner, right? Wait, am I going backwards? I think we're going backwards. Oops. Huh. There we go. Was I supposed to do that? Place is getting crowded. Maybe a shotgun would have been nice. Now they've got dual wield as well, just like us. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Okay, can we shoot the uh chains? No. Shoot the ropes. Oh, we could have shot the ropes earlier. That would have been fun. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatlin gun. Well, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? <laughs> Gatlin guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really Bro. matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow of the story here. Yeah, me dying all this time is messing with the flow of the story here, too. Here we go. Hold on, there's a... Uh, actually, we missed this. Oops, I guess it's good that we died. Ooh, we almost died again. Shit. Some explosives, bro. Wow. Alright, there's explosives right there. Oh my god, okay. Really? One more shot. of their own medicine. How about them apples, punks? I'm surprised he hasn't been commentating on this badass moment. Usually the, the guy we're playing on right now would be capping his ass off. Lieutenant, telling him all sorts of bullshit. I don't believe him. I'm convinced. I think we're good. Ooh, that's a lot of ammo. I was looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Somebody in there. Played it smart, came out alive. There sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. Had enough? Yeah, not really, dude. You boys had enough? Seems like you're dead. Oh. It was then that Jesse oh. detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. Oh, well, we died? I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. 
Wow. You had a showdown with Jesse James? <laughs> of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, man? Your past always catches up with you. Well, it's over, Jesse. Oh, fuck. Damn, he clapped me up. Oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his gun. Are you fucking what about kidding? that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him. But first, I need to whip my whistle. It feels like uh, he got caught lying. And so you gotta find a way out of it. You know? Anyways. Hmm. Or this. Engraved Ranger. Legendary weapon unlocked. Cool. Without forgiveness. This has been silly as hell, but really fun so far. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, and that son of a bitch, Jim. The hostile I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Well, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape. Oh, whoa. Maybe it's best we... Maybe it's best we bring out the... Carbine? I don't know. Oh shit. Damn, dude. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> None of these guys are coming strong. Holy smokes. Hey. How about another whiskey, Ben? Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Well, we gotta be careful here. Now, where was I? Indians, right? Yeah, I had right. more than my share of run-ins with the Red Man. Like that time... Oh. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, uh, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. Oh, you will crap. come to this place again. And kill many more men. Fucking crap, dude. These boys are relentless. And it's funny because you can't really glitch much through here. They can still shoot you. See, as much as, as much as you use it against them, they can use it against you as well. Oh god, that was my fault. Darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. Really? Oh shit, did we just go berserk now? Super Saiyan God? Ultra Instinct? Oh fuck! No way. So did you ever find it? 
<laughs> no Let way. Let me ask you something, Ben. Do you ever think about death? Uh, Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, this guy is drunk as fuck right Won't now. Won't you spare <laughs> me over to another year? What is this? That I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me. Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, death. Well, can you insp inspect a gun like that? Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to another year? Come on, man. All righty. Oh, someone would pray. Could you wait to oh, shit. Day? Oh, that's not good. Does he Is he gonna die telling a story? Won't you spare me over to another? Nah, there's no way. So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find him? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was going to stop me. Oh, shit. Nothing. Nothing. I think we're about to finish the game, guys. It's crazy. Frank James. That's the last one. Pretty sure of it. Have to avoid them, huh? Get to the hilltop to. I finally did oh. track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. Oh, shit. Damn. What? I didn't even see that bullet. Where the fuck did that come from? Damn. This could be one of these, huh? Oh, that's just phenomenal. Unspent skill points. Hold on. We'll do Ranger then. That was probably pointless. Stay low. Just gotta stay low. Oh god. Nerve wracking. Oh crap. Frankie James. Slow down, bud. Slow down. I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother, Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man, as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Woohoo! Oh, God. Thought we were gonna die. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, what <laughs> Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, damn, I thought that was a rifle. Go, go, go. Shit, man, 
this guy's crazy. What if I throw some dynamites over there? Hell, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge. It's I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Oh, my God. Is that what it was? Justice. Isn't that why you were hunting the James gang? The James gang. Right. Whoa. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my <laughs> position. Dynamite? On your purse? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one man. Only the greatest cowboy in the West. God, I've got these revolvers. Alright, dude, I'm sorry, but you're done. <laughs> that old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this guy. I'm done with this damnable outlaw life. Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will. At this point, I just don't give a shit. I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. So now we've got to go find uh, his so hideout. what happened with me? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookout. And I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. Rather than wander in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that son of a bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole <laughs> younger. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! Where is he? It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please get him? That's a lot of cowboys. A lot of bandits. A lot of outlaws. I clapped here. Man, these dudes' aim is crazy, bro. Eventually, it was just me and Reed. Oh, snap. There he 
There he is. I had waited a long time to face him down so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Stop moving, damn it. I want to do this in one shot. Whoa, that dude is fast as fuck. Damn. Damn, he's fast. I got to try that again. Whoa, dude. Man, he is fast. Pretty bait. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with it. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. I thought we were done, I guess not. Oh, shoot. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. Wow. Sorry, boys. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one, Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. For all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. Damn, dude. Guys going crazy mode right now. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends, no purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. Oh wow, those were pellets that threw me off. I don't even know how many times I've I've died in this game. For silly shit like that, you know? Alright, let's do this again. Let me go back up there. Mess this boy up. I'm playing with games. Bro, you can't even Nothing see him. Could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story, you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? 
Hey, bro, Suddenly stop the disrespect. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Now we're falling apart, just like me. The disrespect right now is crazy. Whoa. But I wasn't about to call it quits. I love when the game does that. It's so satisfying. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The wild bunch knew I was there. Oh, no. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Wow. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Wow. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? <laughs> they were all dead? silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Here, there, even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me, guns a blazing. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. But in the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Hart, just like I remember him. Oh, this is crazy. It's like we're fighting all of them again. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father in law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. Oh, shit. Pretty wild, oh my god. The Dalton brothers, Robert and Grant, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. Uh, oh my god. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Yeah, we're gonna have to stay here in the middle. Was a while. Jesse Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Oh, shit. Thought. Oh, my God. I'm gonna die here. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? How are we not dead? This is insane. 
Finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his legion of the dead. You told us before that you'd see him alive. He was alive. <laughs> Bro, the bullshit this guy is feeding you. Got a bucket. Oh, these guns are dope. They're so strong. Uh oh. Nice. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, aka Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. Wow, dude. What a game. So weird. <laughs> What is this? The final but the kid was three way showdown. Deceased. Not yet. It takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked them about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. That is mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. Hmm. All right, in a Mexican standoff, use LB and RB to switch your focus to the enemy who is looking at you. Bro, what the hell? Bro. Oh my god. Uh, what the f uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died <laughs> there in that cemetery not that six months awesome, ago. That was awesome, bro. It was the speed. That's what really made the difference. This guy's full of shit, though. I don't believe anything this guy's been saying. Bro. I think that was the finale. Oh, this is the finale. Interesting. Let's see what happens. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh, man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. Mm. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? Your past Whoa. always catches up with you. <gasps> no way. I, I was a different man back then. Crazy. Drinking. I, I've changed my ways. I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. No way. <laughs> what? Redemption or revenge? I'm gonna go with redemption. Why 
Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wow. Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can you remember who I was before you tried to murder me? You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm, uh... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob. Wow, all right, I gotta say, man, this was friggin' cool. This was, this ending just really, really did the whole funky shenanigans of the entire story. It did it some real good justice. Dude, that was awesome. That was, that was seriously awesome. A super underrated game. I can't believe it took me this long to play it. That was incredible. I, I really like that. By Techland. Let's see if we have anything at the end. New game plus is now available. Starting your journey. Retaining all the unlocked skills and weapons. True West difficulty. I think I'm good. Yeah, we've got True West difficulty, which is crazy. Anyways, uh, this was a phenomenal game. I thought the whole time it was just this drunk tale, but just guy talking crap to a certain extent, right? But the way they just... They just flipped that out at the end. The whole time, that was Bob while he was listening to the entire story. Incredible. I sat here and played the whole game. And I have to say, I'm kind of glad I did that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop it a like. It would really help out the video and the channel. And I'll catch you later. <laughs>